Hi, I'm Adrian Busby and I'd like to talk to you just about some very special barble really that were on the Great Ooze at uh, Adams Farm and Kickhorse. The fish in this picture is just an ordinary barble of that era. I named her Liner. In the picture she's just over 12 pounds but she went on to be probably well over 16 pounds which was fairly typical of a Great Ooze barble in this era. The second fish I'm looking at here is sail. Sail, I named a sail because of that dorsal fin which rather resembled a sail. Uh, I'm for, uh, it went on to be known as red belly. The other anglers at the time who caught this fish named a red belly and that stuck. Uh, she went on to be a British record, um, 19 pounds 6 ounces if I recall it correctly. Wonderful fish. I'm working with very old photographs here, uh, not digital, just old prints, so forgive me if they're not brilliant. The next fish is Stumpy. Uh, named this one Stumpy because of the very deep body compared to the length of the fish. Uh, when we look at it in more detail you'll see the, the wrist of the tail uh, being particularly pronounced and thick compared to a normal barbell. In this picture she weighs 15 pounds. She went on to be a British record for someone uh, at probably 18 pounds plus. I'm not mentioning the anglers in this in this little uh, tape but because obviously there's just too many people to mention and you just never do it. But suffice to say there were some very brilliant anglers around at the time and they some of them became good friends. This one, affectionately, we used to refer to as the big girl, but she never really had a name. She was just a fish that was around for a couple of years that was magnificent and huge. In this photo, she weighs 14 pounds, 8 ounces, and this is October 1995. She was just colossal. Just to say at this point, I'm only talking about a handful of very special Fisher Adams. There were so many great barbel around at the time. Uh, that fish again, um, at a weight of 15 pounds 10 ounces in October 96. At the time the British record was 16 pounds 2 ounces if my memory serves me correctly, a Medway fish. So this fish was just half a pound off the British record and a river record at the time on the Great Ooze. What a magnificent barbel. I'll never forget that fish. It remains the highlight of my fishing career. This remarkable fish is the Pope. In this photograph she weighs 15 pounds and it's June the 16th in 2000, uh, sorry, 1999. What a remarkable fish. This fish has broke the British record at weights in excess of 19 pounds. Around the year 99 to 2000 she broke several British records for several people. Remarkable fish. In this particular photograph she's weighing in at 18 pounds 4 ounces and it's September 2001. Just a quick little flash of uh, a bit of video around the same time 2001 and she's a big 17. Remarkable fish. The Traveller, another absolutely historic barbel. In this photograph was the first time I ever caught her at £12.14 ounces in the backwater at Adams Farm. I named her the Traveller because I caught her a little a couple of weeks later in the main river. So the name kind of stuck. In this particular photograph she weighs 18 pounds 12 ounces and it's 2003. This barbel was the first 20 pound barbel ever caught in this country and is the current British record at just over 21 pounds. Truly historic fish, the traveller. The last fish I'd like to talk about is a fish called teardrops. I named the teardrops because she's got two spots under her left eye which do look a little bit like teardrops. In this picture it's 2003, October 2003 and she weighs 17 pounds 6 ounces. I don't think teardrops ever went on to be a British record 
but she was certainly a big fish and would have been at some point over 18 pounds. A good fish to end on, teardrops.